Hey there, if you've been following my latest projects on iGitHub, then you must have noticed that I used to use Nextauth as my authentication service, but recently I switched to Clerk. Now, at first, uh, it was hard for me to update the existing auth system to a new one, as I was already having some users' data in it, and I had to securely handle them during the migration. But before that, if I'm not familiar with Clerk, then I might have some information for you. So, Clerk is more than just an authentication service. It's your go-to solution for hassle-free user management and security. Clerk provides pre-built authentication components and APIs, making it a breeze to integrate secure user registration, login, and profile management into your web apps. So, now that we know what Clerk is, then why would you actually use it? Like, over Nextroth actually. Well, while I was developing my latest project, my portfolio, the first issue I had to deal with is email authentication. By default, I was having a Discord and I get have authentication as my third-party providers. But most of the cases, these are not the general way to lock a user in. And email authentication makes it way in. But the huge problem with the email authentication is you cannot use public domains. What I mean by public domains is accounts that end with, let's say, uh, gmail.com or yahoo.com or outlook.com. You get it. The first step would be getting your own domain. So for me, I got one from GitHub Student Pack. It's riavideo.me. Now, that's not where it ends. You gotta get an email service for it too. I use the Namecheap's native service, but you can use the Microsoft or the Google Workspaces too. Now that you have made your own private email, you gotta find a service that will deliver your emails to your clients. For an example, let's say SendGrid. For some reason, SendGrid has blocked my account or maybe I'm just too dumb to find a way to log in. So SendGrid, if you're watching me, do unblock me or just help me out at least. Whatever. Now that you have your service ready, you need to make sure your emails look good. For that, you can use React emails, like, it's the easiest one. But it becomes a huge headache maintaining all of this when you're the only one working on a project in a limited time space. So I had to find a better solution, and I came to visit Clerk. Unlike Nextauth, or you can say Orchess, Clerk will handle your verification code emails or let's say the magic links. They do not have to set anything, any servers, or any email method you like. The free tier allows, I believe, nearly a thousand users a month. I might be wrong, but you can check it out. Also, while in development mode, you do not even need to give your app credentials for the third-party services. Now, there is another reason that just got solved, but I still would like to talk about it. I used Drizzle as my ORM with Planiskill MySQL. And if you have used Nextauth in your project, you must be familiar with adapters. When I was developing my project, there was no available adapters for Drizzle, and I had to find a way to make one. Although, they recently just announced an adapter for Drizzle which you might want to check out actually. It's actually really good. But still, I would use Clerk, as the only thing that I have to do from my end is to receive the waybooks that Clerk emits whenever a user signs up or a user account is updated or just gets deleted. It's much easier to handle the waybooks and editing it asynchronously with the database. If you want to read more about what my takes are, you can check out my blog on my site. I recently started posting blogs on hot topics so you can engage over there and maybe I'll find out some helpful information. That's all for today. See you next time. You can join my server if you want and maybe you can have some chat. Bye.